During renovation work at Beijing's Forbidden City in 2007, a glazed tile was discovered bearing the inscription Ma Zhuang Shanto Su style. Research confirmed this tile was made by the Su family of Taiyuan City, Shanxi Province. Since 1522, during the Ming Dynasty, glazed tiles for the roofs of China's Imperial Palace were made by the Su family. Shanxi glazed tiles are representative of traditional Chinese craftsmanship. Raw materials are hand molded, then fired, colored, and heated at a high temperature of over 1000 degrees. They are finished off at a lower temperature of 900 degrees. The tiles are mostly used for roof decorations of imperial palaces, temples, and so on. Su Yongjun devotes all his time and energy to glazed tile production. When he was young, he didn't learn how to make tiles, but instead chose to work in the transportation industry. The raw materials used for the production of glazed tiles are natural ores. During production, sulfur and other pollutants are released. Because of overmining and air pollution, Traditional glazed tile making factories have all been closed, leaving only the Sioux family business. The Sioux style glazed tile production can only be continued if excessive mining and air pollution are avoided. Su Yongjun is determined, therefore, to move from mass production to high end custom craftsmanship. Leaving behind the mass market, Su Yongjun's glazed tile innovation is a brand new venture. Research and development, funding and market acceptance are all urgent issues that Su needed to consider, while opposition from his family became the biggest hurdle. Chairman都是我把一分一分 以前高运输真好来的然后这一直十年了一直往里面赔钱那肯定谁也有点那啥对不对那都是事情我把那一分一分挣下的血汗钱了也尤其是我媳妇他们经常哈他们同事呀朋友们做起来人家谁家谁家
，哎，帮了很大的忙。所以说，这就给我们更有这个信心来去做这个事情。Su Yongjun's venture has shown initial success. His two sons even left their jobs to work with him and learn the techniques of Su-style glazed tiles. 下午自己要做个太原市比较规模大的琉璃文化园，展示咱们这个明代、清代的各种琉璃技艺。第二个呢，就是要再建个二百多平米的这个琉璃体验馆，让更多的年轻人体验到这个琉璃的这个文化。Glazed tiles were once special construction materials for imperial palaces, symbolizing power and dignity. Now, a new breed of art collectors are hoping to reproduce the glories of the past. This is the long-cherished dream of Su Yongjun.